Is EYL a scam? Is earn your leisure scammers? Me personally, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for, for a minute. I have talked about it a little bit before. They associate with a lot of people that are not reputable. They always got some shit going. You talk about uh, people like Jay Morrison, the big business guy, and more recently, Mike Sims. I was watching this guy the other night. His name was uh, Pocket Watching with JT, and he had another gentleman on, and they're talking about how this Ponzi scheme just blew up. And I'm like, man, what are y'all talking about? They shout out this guy named CoffeeZilla. This this video right here apparently is going through the Ponzi scheme where a lot of celebrities got caught up in. And one of the guys in there is Mike Sims. Mike Sims was on Earn Your Leisure. And they were reacting, Pocket Watching JT and the guy he had on with him, they were reacting, basically saying, um, look at this EYL video they put out. And in the video, they're like, you got to do your own research and blah, blah, blah. But your homeboy in all the time is saying, we don't want you to go nowhere else for financial research. Come to us. Like, bro, what, you, what which one of y'all want them to do? Because, bro, you can't keep associating with these people that are running a file and taking people's money, especially in our community, and then say, uh, oh, well. And let me just get on my tangent real quick, because I loved Earn Your Leisure when they first came out. There was a pandemic. Uh, brothers, would, they knew a lot of money was in the streets, and people had all these financial questions, and they just wanted to hit them with the basics and for free. And that's something I love here, and that's something I always wanted to do here on my channel, and to keep it free for our community. So financial literacy should be treated as something that's that every person should have but after a while i noticed they just started bringing more and more people on the platform and it became more than about just helping the community it became a business and i can understand that people want to make money that's no problem with that but it's when you don't vet people or when you just want to sell out to me for a dollar and the only reason why i was like uh, i don't know they started getting more like extreme kind of fringe kind of topics and fringe kind of investments that really made me back up and say man i, I can't support this shit like y'all talking about um doing xyz with your money perfect example they got some dude named uh him something him 500 whatever his name is talking about hey i need you to go on Experian and contest your your credit report this is how you do it you don't need to go to anybody's credit report um course or get some go to the, somewhere to get somebody's credit fix you're gonna do it yourself you log on okay all you got to do is dispute it and say it's a legal matter and I'm thinking, why would you say that to somebody when it's not a legal matter? They hadn't even gone to court and done none of this. And by the way, they got to actually go to a lawyer and all this other stuff, or that's kind of like fraudulent. You're going to get a DA on somebody's ass, and they're going to say, oh, I, I was listening to somebody on EYL. What? Anyway, long story short, is is those kind of investments that made me back away. And then it was, all of a sudden, they had a few episodes with Jay Morrison. And I'm like, wait, y'all with that guy? Y'all gonna vouch for that guy? And it's a damn shame because they got normal people wanting to find more financial knowledge. And they're like, oh, well, I've heard all these bad things about somebody, but he must be okay if he's up there with EYL. Hell no. They ended up having to take the episodes down. They ended up taking the other episodes down with the Mike Sims guy I just told you about. And whatever else they did. So it's not the fact that they're scamming. It's the fact that they don't give a shit. They, they were like, oh, yeah, I think out of our 400 and something episodes, we only had five people that ended up being, you know, less reputable. You know, margin of error, one's too many, but still, that's only like a percentage of our videos. Bullshit. When are you going to vet people, dog? Like, I get that whole thing like, oh, we didn't know such and such would go on to do certain things. But not all of them. You're sitting up there listening to people tell you how to do stuff in your community that is a foul of the law, basically. You know that shit ain't right. But yet, hey, hey, listen to this man and go ahead and get that EYL discount and make sure you get our affiliate. Nah, bruh. Nah, uh, EYL. You're talking to people and taking advantage of people by bringing in these sharks that gone through lawsuits, gone through bankruptcies, gone through potential 
um, arresting and all this other stuff. You can't just uh, throw Sam Bankman Freeman in our face and say, well, it happens with FTX. Hey, bro, nobody told you to cut on the camera. Sam Friedman went out and found people and all this other stuff. He ain't go on your your podcast and, and break bread. You bringing these these sharks out here and allowing them to get the chum so you get something off the top. And I'm saying off the top by all those codes, bro. Like I get it. Nobody could pay you ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand to get on the show. But I'd be damned if you ain't got Ian up there selling his services for forty thousand dollars. All right, and you put in some kind of kind of code or whatever the case may be. You telling me you don't get no affiliate kickback off that, bro? Like, come on, man, let's be real. Let's just be honest. Let's be transparent. The shit is just unnecessary. Anyway, wanted to make this video. Big shout out to uh, Pocket Watching with JT and um, the um, gentleman he had on there. I'm so sorry, I can't remember his name. He's really good too. Um, just bringing a light to these things in our community and. I have felt for a long, long time that a lot of millennial people, black people, black males are getting up on their, their podcasts and these platforms and allowing snakes to come in. If you wanted to stick to the basics, cool. If you ran out of basic subjects, I get that. I understand. But you saw the money. You saw the money with the, the, the media content. You saw the money with all these festivals you wanted to go to and conferences you wanted to throw and all these people you wanted to bring in. And now... Other folks are suffering because they would not have necessarily known these people, but through you. Do better.